78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, in the post-fight press conference, Devin, the Dream, Haney, a.k.a. Black Jesus, calls out Javante Tank Davis uh, for a showdown. I see a lot of Javante Tank Davis fans in the chats of my videos claiming that Javante Tank Davis will easily beat Devin. Great. I love to hear it. Now all I need you to do is ask for the fight. That's all I need you to do. See, I'm not playing this game no more where y'all come on here talking about shoulda, coulda, woulda. What imaginary uh, uh, scenarios. Fantasy boxing. This is reality. These guys are in the same weight class. The fight can happen. So demand the fight. Ask the guy who you think can beat Devin Haney to fight Devin Haney. Right? You can't have it both ways. You can't say, well, Tank Davis is fighting for money. Tank Davis is fighting. He, he don't care about legacy. Tank is about that bag. But then you're talking about he would beat Devin Haney. No. It's one or the other. If he's fighting for legacy, cool. He'll he going to fight Devin Haney for undisputed. If he's fighting for the bag, then he'll fight, uh, you know, uh, Pablo Escobar or somebody. You know, if he'll find somebody to fight, you know. But you can't have it both ways. You don't get to claim a legacy fight when he, Tank himself says he's not fighting for legacy. So which one do y'all want? It is funny how all these Tank fans and other fans who are hate, secret Devin Haney haters are claiming that Devin Haney lost to Lomachenko. But I recall just a year ago or so when Tank Davis fought Isak Cruz, these same people who are now bashing Devin Haney, the same people were running around here. I just looked at it on Twitter. I just looked at it before I did this video to make sure I wasn't crazy. Them people were saying that Tank lost to Eastside Cruz. Tank is a hype job. He clearly lost to Eastside Cruz. That's what they were saying. Now y'all riding with these same people against Devin Haney. Y'all some, man, y'all some sellouts, bro. Straight sellouts. Ain't got no code. Ain't got no loyalty about y'all self. Look at Jamel Trowler running around. Ooh, ooh, Devin Haney gonna lose to Loma Watch. Y'all know the game. Y'all was hoping he was gonna lose. Y'all was hoping they was gonna rob Devin Haney. Like I said before, boxing, real boxing, ain't about your emotions. It ain't about your feelings. It ain't about the crowd roar. It's about who's actually winning the rounds. It's 12 rounds in a match. If this guy wins seven of them and there's no knockdowns, he should win the fight. I don't care if the other guy looks so impressive in four or five rounds. It doesn't matter. That's what y'all did to Floyd Mayweather for most of his career. Somebody do oh win a couple rounds against Floyd. Oh my God, Floyd got exposed. Floyd got exposed. Floyd lost. That's how thirsty y'all are for these slick fighters to lose. And it's pathetic. It really is pathetic. So Maybe Javante Davis can beat uh, Devin Haney. Maybe. But if he can, I'd like to see it. All you Tank fans, do you want to see it? Or are you comfortable pretending like you want to see it? But in actuality, you want Tank to stay away from Devin. He was hoping Loma was going to win. And even if Loma had won the fight, you wasn't going to ask Tank to fight Loma. It's unbelievable. You just wanted Devin Haney out of the way. So sorry. So sorry. Bees like that sometimes. And I literally just told y'all the other day on video what was going to happen. I told you the excuse is going to come. I said, Devin Haney going to beat Loma by decision. And it's going to be a million excuses. Oh, it was a robbery. I literally just said this two days ago. They're going to claim robbery. They're going to claim Loma was injured. They're going to claim something. Because every time Loma loses the fight, that's what they do. Salido weight bullied him, is what they say. Tiafima Lopez, oh, Loma was injured. 
And now, here comes the robbery. Loma clearly won the fight. No, he didn't. He didn't. Loma got dominated the first half of the fight. Loma didn't. This is the same story for Loma. We already, everybody who knows boxing talked about this in the build up to the fight and they break down. Loma does this every fight, bro. He starts off slow. He gives away the first half of the fight. And then he tries to step it up in the championship rounds and, and trick people into thinking he won the fight. Because because by this time, everybody's tired. He usually make people quit. He couldn't make the young boy quit. He couldn't, he couldn't make them quit. So when the guy stands up there to him and don't quit, now what happens? You down all these rounds. That's the truth of the matter. The man lost. Now they're out here making excuses up. But whatever. I want to see Tank Davis versus uh, Devin Haney. That's the fight I want to see. Um, I think it's a blockbuster uh, attraction. I think uh, the threat is real from Tank Davis. He's punching power. Uh, Tank got one hit a quitter, knockout power. But make no mistake about it, Tank Davis is not Vasil Lomachenko. It's two totally different fighting styles. Devin Haney is not going to fight De- uh, Tank Davis the way he fought Lomachenko. It's not going to happen. He's not going to be in there in the pocket walking down Tank Davis. Not going to happen. So if you if you're looking at this fight like, oh, if he do that with Tank, he's gonna get knocked out. If he he's not gonna do that with Tank. The, the the stigma on Devin Haney was, oh, Devin is this outboxer. He's quote unquote boring. That's what y'all was saying. So what he did against Loma was he stepped to him. First half of the fight, he stepped to Loma. Second half of the fight, he mixed it up a little bit. And let Loma get back in the, into the fight. You know what I'm saying? First half of the fight, walked Loma down, body shot after body shot, had Loma folded up. He's not going to do that with Tank. He's going to box Tank. And y'all know it. And that's what you're afraid of. You're afraid of him, Devin Haney boxing Tank, and possibly exposing Tank Davis for not being able to get past that jab. That's what you're afraid of. If you're not afraid of that, then call for the fight. Don't tell me nothing else other than I want Tank Davis versus Loma. Excuse me, Tank Davis versus Devin Haney. I take Tank versus Loma too. But Tank versus Devin Haney, call for that fight. That's all you got to do. Don't say nothing else. Don't say, oh, Tank will win. Just tell me you want the fight. Tell me you want Tank versus Devin Haney. Go to Tank Twitter. Go to Tank Instagram and tell him we want Devin Haney next. And then we got ourselves a classic. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty ODBC. I'm a potty hit old deuces.